A three-year-old Iraqi boy came to San Francisco for surgery today and a new chance at life. He lost his hearing when a U.S. missile struck the house next door. The boy is recovering right now, and ABC 7's Don Sanchez has the story from UCSF. This is like the second like a birthday for Mustafa today. He's born again for me. Happiness, relief, and hope from the father of little three-year-old Mustafa Gazwan, holding his son just an hour after surgery. Mustafa's hearing was destroyed when that missile exploded in his neighborhood in June 2007. Three other children were killed. Mustafa was brought here from Iraq for the procedure, installing a plant that turns sound waves into electronic signals. And the operation was a success. All right. Nice work, buddy. Nice work, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Lawrence Lustig and other members of the medical team waived their fees. Actually, in his case, it was, it was unusually easy because his anatomy was so good. Everything was wide open. We got a full insertion on the implant. It was very straightforward. It took just a little over an hour. What the implant does, it does provide sound but it's not perfect sound, and so the body has to learn how to essentially rehear. The cochlear implant had been donated by a private company. Mustafa and nine other children injured in the war were brought here by the group No More Victims. I wanted to create a way that American communities could pull themselves together, identify a child, and provide medical assistance to the child. They plan to bring more. I think it's a great expression of responsibility on the part of Americans for what has happened in Iraq. Oh. It has brought an outpouring of gratitude, and emotion from this family. What he's saying is he's speechless. Words are not enough to express my feelings about this. Mustafa will spend the next four to six months in therapy, staying at Ronald McDonald House in San Francisco. And finally, the chance for a normal childhood in Iraq. In San Francisco, Don Sanchez, ABC 7 News.